Thank you, Peter. I'm not too sure if uh, there's any ministers in here or members of parliament, but um, I'd like to acknowledge you if you're, if you're here. Um, also to the international uh, participants who've traveled here, welcome to Papua New Guinea. Uh, attendees who are here, I would like to acknowledge you. Um, gas, L LNG, and uh, its byproducts such as LPG, is an important transitional energy source of which KCH would like to support, we're keen to support and would like to participate in. Uh, generally, KCH is, a, is the trustee of the General Business Trust, which holds the state's interest in all the uh, state-owned enterprises. And we're engaged in a wide variety of significant operations in all sectors of the economy. The state-owned businesses contribute approximately 2% two, two of the GDP, and, uh, but it p potentially could increase to, seven to, to up to 7 to 10%. And we hold assets, net assets, worth about 500, uh, sorry, 5.6 billion kina. Our revenue averages about 250 million, and our net uh, annually, and our net uh, operating profit is about 10 million. In 2022, we made a dividend payment of 80 million to the government, and another 77 million in 2023. And this year, we've uh, contributed about 23 million, but we're anticipating it should be, we're looking at an amount of about 70 million at the end of the year. So, and, and that's paid to the uh, Go PNG Fund. SOEs contribute towards community, our, our community service obligations amount, amount to around about 650 million kina annually. The SOEs, amongst others, include in New Guinea, the National Carrier, Telecom, um, the state's retail telecommunication company, Datako, the state's uh, wholesale telecommunication company, PNG Ports, Water PNG, Motor Vehicles Insurance Limited, Post PNG, which is now transforming into a highly effective logistic company with uh, strategic offices and warehouses throughout uh, the country. And of course, Kumul Agriculture Limited, which is an important initiative by uh, KCH, as over 80% of our people are subsistence farmers, including all those landowners of the oil and gas fields and uh, if we have to have a serious impact on the lives of our people, then we need to engage in agriculture, including all the tree crops, coffee, um, cacao, coconut, and, uh, and also the horticultural products. So KCH is keen to invest in, in agriculture. So we're looking for some serious partners. We're a passive investor. So we're looking at uh, some uh, serious partners we can joint venture with. And of course, we have a host of subsidiaries such as uh, MTV and, da and Daytech, which is the country's leading IT co company offering critical digital services and uh, technology infrastructure, which I strongly vouch for. In many ways, the country's SOEs are the, the foundation upon which private sector activities are built on. So we need to ensure that these businesses are strong. And we're all committed, we are committed, KCH is committed in supporting the government and the citizens and all those who reside here and do business here in PNG to ensure that we pro provide a good service to, to all, of, all of us, all of us who, who live here. There are many challenges with the SOEs and as chairman of KCH, I, I, I give no excuses, except to say that the government and KCH under the leadership of the prime minister and also our Honourable Minister William Duma, the Minister in Charge of State Enterprises, we're relentlessly working to address those issues with SOEs, whether it involves management issues, whether it pertains to uh, restructuring or recapitalization of the companies. You can be rest, rest, rest assured that uh, the issues are being confronted and dealt with. We're focused on improving the services improving service delivery, enhancing operational e efficiency and modernizing our SOEs to better meet the demands of our, our economy. 
In New Guinea, for example, has contracted to buy two new um, Boeing 787s, Dash 8 series. Um, the, the first to uh, arrive, we were anticipated towards uh, 2027, but that may, uh, 2027, however, that may be, uh, that delivery date might be extended due to the supply chain issues affecting uh, our aircraft manufacturer, Boeing. We are acquiring 11 new uh, Airbus A220, six of which we'll purchase and five will be leased. And uh, we expect uh, the arrival of the first one, possibly in the first quarter of next year. The A220s will be replacing the uh, current Fokker fleet. So now we have to work closely with the NAC to ensure that the, uh, the airports and the, uh, the aerodrome facilities, the runways, etc., are all ready for the arrival of the new aircraft here. We've already entered into a uh, arrangement with the Australian government the Australian government's AIFFP for a 1.3 billion, billion facility and, and a minor part, minor but a significant portion of that comprises of a grant here. Yeah. So we appreciate our relationship with the Australian government. And the purpose of this facility is to re rehabilitate uh, certain important and key existing ports here. Yeah. We're also very appreciative with our relationship with our partners like the ADB and also our PEP partners, which uh, is the Australia, is the government of Australia, New Zealand, uh, Japan, and the US. Some SOEs are operating well, whilst others are quite challenging, such as PNG Power, and uh, our acting CEO will be speaking on that shortly. And the, but the government is uh, closely looking into issues of the power in our attempt to give our citizens a consistent, reliable, and affordable supply of power. We are a land of in a thousand tribes, as they say, with distinct languages and dialects, with different customs and cultures. But building a hydro power dam, for example, and running a transmission line over different tribal territories poses different challenges to our power company. And uh, that's the reality of life in this country and the challenges that uh, we are confronted with on a daily basis. The country needs at least another 250 megawatts of power even on the Ramu grid within the next eight years to cater for the growing population and anticipated growth in the in economic act activity along the corridor of the Ramu grid. Uh, that's according to the uh, World Bank, that's according to a World Bank report. And um, we have to address the, this issue and we're keen to looking at working with partners or anyone who has an interest in this, um, whether it's solar, whether it's hydro, um, any form of uh, power for the generation of the Ramu grid will be important. It takes, uh, it takes approximately eight to ten years to even build a, uh, a 50 megawatt uh, hydro power plant. So this is a kind of uh, scale and time we're looking at. So we're, we're probably running a bit behind time, but we, we have to do that quite uh, aggressively. Uh, SOEs are not just service providers, they are actively looking for business opportunities. So we are eager to engage with the private sector, particularly those of you in the oil and gas industry, to explore how we can collaborate and expand the reach of our services, whether it involves the airline, water, telecommunication, power, or our logistic services with uh, post PNG. After all, we do have the uh, basic infrastructure. Uh, KCH itself is willing to engage in business. We are a passive investor so long as the business uh, falls within our investment guidelines, ticks all the boxes, earns a return on our investment, and that uh, it's a business activity that's genuinely beneficial towards nation's growth and will be interested in. We would certainly also like to participate as a local content partner in a business, in a business venture in the uh, petroleum energy uh, sector. And uh, in any case, we are also committed to supporting PNG's local content strategy. Um, we recognize the importance of investing in local talent, developing our work workforce, and ensuring that the benefits of the oil and gas sector are shared across the nation. So KCH and the SOEs stand ready to participate in, in initiatives that build local capacity and promote sustainable development. It's important to engage with local businesses, including SMEs, to create and spread the wealth, so to speak, and to expand the tax base 
uh, both for individuals and businesses. These are ways to improve our living standards, which in turn will also uh, address our social issues and ultimately contribute towards nation building. KCH, uh, as some of you may know, we've got a beautiful plot of land down at the waterfront. And uh, if there's anyone interested uh, here to build their headquarters or, or to do, do, do something, build some infrastructure, you're more than welcome to come and participate with uh, KCH to develop that, that land here. In conclusion, KCH is uh, determined to play, its, play as a central role as a central role in the continued growth of PNG's oil and gas industry. Our SOEs are vital partners, and by utilizing their services, you will not only strengthen your operations, but also contribute to the broader development of our nation. Thank you, uh, ladies and gentlemen.